بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم طلابنا Hi dear first year medical students we will talk today about the daily use terms this is lecture number six it is a continuation lecture now paralysis what do you mean by paralysis it is complete or partial loss of function especially when involving the motion or sensation of a part of the body as in this patient who is on wheelchair so there is paralysis he can't move and paranoia it is a mental state characterized by systematized delusions of persecution or grandeur usually without hallucination there is delusion there is feeling of grandiosity but there is no hallucination and there is a tendency on part of an individual or a group toward excessive or irrational suspiciousness and distrustfulness of others so there is feeling of suspicion toward others and there is loss of uh, trust of others and pathological means that it is an altered or caused by disease something change in our behavior or in our activity or appearance so it is related to pathological it is not normal we call it the pathological change in activity or as we said or in appearance or in sensation or whatever this term is equals to as we said morbidity pathological changes means it changed to abnormal something abnormal than normal it is beyond normal state phobia is an exaggerated usually inexplicable and illogical fear of a particular object or class of object or situation sometimes uh, they are afraid of from being in high place or in a dark room or maybe in um, a closed room and so on so now pneumonia it is, it is an acute disease that is marked by inflammation of the lung and it is characterized by presence of fever high temperature chills and cough difficulty in breathing fatigue there is chest pain and reduced lung expansion typically caused by infectious agent like bacteria or virus or fungal this is pneumonia pneumothorax condition in which the air or other gas is a present in the pleural cavity and which occur emma either it is spontane spontaneously or a result of disease or injury of the lung and maybe due to rupture of air fault pulmonary cyst or puncture of the chest wall or it is induced as a therapeutic measure to collapse the lung so it means pneumothorax there is air or other gas but present outside the lung it is present in the pleural cavity prognosis is the prospect of recovery as anticipated from the usual course of disease or peculiarities on the case so according to the progression of the disease either it end with recovery or being chronic state so we call it as a chronic disease chronic illness or man might end with death this prospect this way of dealing with the patient and it ends with what it is the final end of the disease we call the prognosis either it is good prognosis as in recovery or a poor prognosis as in case of being a chronic state or even end with death so psychosis is a serious mental illness characterized by defective or lost contact with reality here there is lost contact with reality there is hallucination often with hallucination and delusion he imagines some things and there is illusion and uh, hallucination of uh, visual hallucination auditory hallucination and so on so it is a mental state psychosomatic of or relating to this is an adjective involving or concerned with bodily symptoms the patient have body symptoms like abdominal pain or headache but the real cause it is mental or emotional disturbance there is no physical abnormality there is no pathological abnormality just there is um, as we said it is emotional disturbance causes the sign and symptom as for example uh, if we if you are going to have an exam there is abdominal pain just because you are now feeling of distress and this is an emotional distress pulmonary adjective it is an adjective pulmonary is something related to or affecting the lung or occurring in the lung so we call it pulmonary pulmonary disease pulmonary hemorrhage pulmonary edema and so on 
so anything related to the lungs resuscitation is the act of reviving from apparent death or from unconsciousness when you have a patient who is nearly dead or unconscious and you have certain acts to improve his condition we call it these acts as resuscitation rhythm a regular repeating beat usually related to the heart or circulatory system so we have the heart rhythm and we check the rhythm by checking the pulse or even by stethoscope or by EEG so these all uh, demonstrate the rhythm whether it is regular or irregular and so on schizophrenia is a mental disorder that is characterized by disturbance in thought like elu delusion or perception like hallucination and behavior like disorganized speech or catatonic, catatonic sorry, behavior so there is loss of emotional responsiveness and there is extreme apathy is not concerned with the surrounding and noticeable deterioration in the level of functioning in everyday life so apathic with illusion with the with the hallucination and disorganized or abnormal sleep speech sepsis is a toxic condition resulting from a spread of bacteria or other toxin from a focus of infection so an infection when it is not treated and when uh, at the beginning it was localized it will then spread it through the blood and cause sepsis whether infection and caused by bacteria itself or the sepsis caused by the toxin of that bacteria sinus may be a cavity in the substance of the bone of the skull that is communicate usually with the nostril and contain air we call airway sinuses and we have another matter uh, we have a channel of venous blood we call it also sinuses and the dilatation of bodily canal or vessels also it is a sinus subutum it is a matter expectorated from the respiratory system and especially the lungs that is composed of mucus but may contain pulse may contain blood and may contain fibrin these are other findings in the product that it is excreted from the respiratory system and maybe it contain microorganism like bacteria as in a disease state sternum is a compound ventral bone compound ventral bone or cartilage that connect the ribs or the shoulder girdle and here we colored the sternum with the red color or both so the shoulder girdle the ribs connected together and it consists of the manubrium this is the manubrium the upper part the gladiolus is the middle part and the xiphoid process this is the process it is the lower part also known as the breastbone other name of the sternum is the breastbone symptom is a subjective evidence of disease or physical disturbance this is something should be felt by the patient it is not a sign a sign you can see it on the patient like appearance of pallor in patient with edemia, anemia sorry or yellowish discoloration in patient with jaundice or bluish discoloration in patient with cyanosis these are signs you can detect it but the symptom is something felt by the patient probably he got headache or there is abdominal pain or chest pain you can't feel it but the patient feel this symptom syndrome is a group of signs and symptoms that occur together and characterize a particular abnormality or condition so collection of signs and symptoms they usually come together and gives the possibility of certain condition like syndrome and down syndrome they have the upward slanting eyes the subtle nose and the protruded tongue and there is mental retardation and other features so collection of these signs and symptoms together there are a lot of a lot of signs and symptoms if they connect it together in such a patient uh, so it means there is certain syndrome thrombosis or other name we call embolism is the formation or the presence of a blood within blood clot within the blood vessels blood clot aggregation of a blood tuberculosis is a highly variable communicable disease of a human and some other vertebrate that is caused by a tubercle bacilli or by related mycobacterium that affects especially the lung so it is communicable disease and human and other vertebrates and caused by TB bacilli or by other mycobacterium usually it involving the lung but may separate to other area like kidney spinal column and 
that is characterized by usually there is fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. Also, there is a break in the skin or the mucous membrane. Maybe in the skin as an outside ulcer or mucous membrane as here there is inside ulcer. So this is the ulcer of the stomach. We call it gastric ulcer or peptic ulcer and so on. There is loss of surface tissue, disintegration and necrosis. Urinary is something relating to the urinary. Urinary system, urinary bladder, uh, urinary incontinence. So this is an adjective. It is something occurring in the urinary, affecting the urinary or constituting the organ. Organ of urinary like kidneys, ureter, bladder, concerned with formation and discharge of urine. Viral is an adjective. It is of or relating to or caused by a virus, something. There is viral injury, viral disease, and so on. Like here, it is coronavirus, and as we said, it is an adjective. Viral is an adjective. Wheeze is a sound. Wheeze is a sound caused by breathing with difficulty, usually a whistling sound because of narrowing of the bronchioles due to allergy, due to infection, and so on. So it is a sound. This is a whistling sound. Thank you.